two, three. Hey, what's up, everyone? We're here at Carolina Bully Farm, sorta, uh, in my car, and uh, we're taking Jax here, who's heading to uh, heading to Canada, which we usually don't ship to Canada, but we got it worked out this time where we can. We've done it a couple times, but it's pretty hard to ship out of the country, so usually we try not to. But uh, I've I've had a lot of people want to like do uh, requests on how to ship a dog and stuff. So I'm gonna uh, kind of show what we do whenever we're shipping them. First thing is we want it to be as comfortable for the dog as possible. He's gonna be on a flight, you know, it could be a few hours. Um, you know, you never know how comfortable they're gonna be on them flights. So we always make sure we use a really reputable airline. The only places we'll go through is United, and we only use them when we have to go to Canada because Delta doesn't fly to Canada. And then other than that, we use Delta Airlines for anything in the country. And um, a little bumpy there. And uh, so now we're heading to the airport. We like to keep him out of the crate the whole time. That way he's relaxed, you know, with a person and uh, not stuck in the crate being scared like he's getting shipped already. And then uh, we'll also, you know, we'll send a little couple treats with him. And I'll show you how the crate looks when it's prepared and all when we get out up here. But uh, you need to make sure you got all your stuff ready when you're going to ship a dog because the airlines are really, really strict. So. You, people don't realize how hard it is to actually ship them and book a flight when I tell them, oh, we couldn't ship out this day or that day. Um, it's because you got to really make sure you got everything lined up right. So uh, you want to have your crate. You got to have a crate that's approved by the airline. Uh, in the case of shipping to Canada, the little plastic clips that go on it don't work. You got to take them out and bolt it through because apparently this big killer here could break out. And um, it looks like he would break out of a crate, doesn't he? <laughs> but, uh, so you gotta have that and then um you know you gotta make sure you have a vet approved health certificate you gotta make sure and if you're sending it to canada you send it with a bill of sale and uh then also you don't want to send the dog without food or water and uh i'll show you what we do to make sure the water lasts the whole flight and all that stuff when we get up here but uh you also want to make sure he's got out and got worn out and got plenty of uh exercise and chances to use the bathroom because he's gonna be cooped up for so long so that's kind of step one. Now we're gonna keep him calm on the way to the airport and I'll show you what we do when we get to the airport. This will be, uh, be part one and next one will be part two.